on question 20, we have this projectile that's shot up, out up in the air and it's given by our formula. And we want to know when will the projectile have a height of 125. We'll be at zero, one. Oh, we don't have to actually solve this. We can use the discriminant. But in order to use the discriminant, first we have to understand the height is 125 equals 88t minus 16t squared. Notice it's not written in standard form. I'm going to subtract 125 from both sides, and I'm going to rewrite it in standard form. So we're going to get 0 equals negative 16t squared minus or plus 88t minus 125. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, well, A is going to be negative 16. B is going to be 88. And C is going to be negative 125. So now I'm going to say B squared minus 4AC. How many solutions can there be? Well, B is going to be 88, isn't it? 88 squared minus 4 times A, which is negative 16, times C, which is negative 125. We have three negatives this time, so we're going to subtract it. Now I'm going to use my calculator. I'm going to find 88 squared first. Ooh. And let's do 88 squared. So 88 squared minus, might as well just do the whole thing at the same time, minus 4 times 16 times 125. And we get a negative 256. Negative 256 means it will never be at that height. I don't like zero. I'm going to say it's never going to be at that height. Okay. Now, we'll do the same thing on the next one. We're going to do b squared minus 4ac. But it equals zero, so I know a is 1. I know B, this is kind of confusing, B is C, shouldn't have used C, and C is going to be 81. In order to have one solution, I want B squared minus 4AC to equal 0. So I'm going to go B squared minus 4AC, I want that equal to 0. Well, B is C, so I'm going to say C squared minus 4 times 1 times 81, I want that to equal to 0. So c squared minus, I mean, I should be able to do that in my head. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 8 is 324, equals 0. So we'll add 324 from both sides. So c squared equals 324. Take the square root of both sides. That means c, the square root of 324, remember, is plus or minus 18. My 18 did not look very nice there, so I'm going to rewrite it. And there we have our answer. Okay, now, let's take a look at number 22. Notice they're asking which model it is. And notice Y has a 0. I can't multiply 0 by anything to get 4. So automatically, I'm going to cross out exponential. That one does not work. And then, look at your common difference. 0 to negative 4, I'm going down 4. Negative 4 to negative 16, I'm going down 12. Notice my first differences are not the same. So once again, it's not linear. So it's either quadratic or it's none of these. 
And then let's go negative 16 to negative 36. I want the blue. Is negative 20. And negative 36 to negative 64. And so I'll go 64 minus 36 because I'm tired. 64 minus 36 is negative 28. Now let's look at our second differences. From negative 4 to negative 12, it goes down 8. Oh, look at that. Down 8, down 8. So this is quadratic. Okay, and then question 23. I want to know when the cost and the revenue are the same. So we're going to say 2n plus 15 equals 5n because I want them to be the, I want the revenue and the cost to be the same. Well then let's subtract 2n from both sides and we get 15 equals to 5n. We'll divide by 5 n is 3. I got to change my choices on here for you. That's supposed to be a 3 on there, not a 5. Dang it. Let's make sure I set it up right. Equals 5. 5. Oh, 5 minus 2 is not 5. I made a mistake. 5 minus 2 is 3. So the answer is we're right on there. So I divide by 3. And it's 5. There we go. And that is a choice. Nice thing with multiple choice, you can find your careless errors sometimes. And 